the church is slowly awakening prophetic dreams. The Bible says, touch not my anointed and do my prophets no harm. Touch not my anointed and do my prophets no harm. I want to encourage the prophetic voices. There are, there are words that are hard to deliver. But let us continue to be obedient. Let us continue to do as the Lord says. Um, we do not want the Lord to, to take our mantle and to raise another because the Lord can't do that. Hallelujah. But the Lord is good. The Lord is faithful. We will, we will live out our purpose and assignment in the earth. Hallelujah. I have been getting a lot of dreams from the Lord um, concerning fake churches because people look at churches um, like Prophet Bushiri's church and they will say, well, we saw the miracles and everything like that happening is not of the Lord. See, now it has gotten to the point now where some people do not even trust whether miracles are performed by, by the Lord. They do not know what spirit is behind the church. Okay, I'm going to say this. And as I as speak this, I, as I release this word into the atmosphere, I also release the other prophetic voices that are not speaking on this matter. I've been getting this, these messages for like the longest of time. It's been dream after dream after dream and then it would just pause and it would come again but it's 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 starting to be unsettling in my spirit because i was thinking of making a video but i could never be able to title it and i think it's because um i do not want to step on toes you know um i grew up in church i was practically raised by the church so i i do not want to look like I'm preaching against the church, okay? But I have to say this, that the Lord wants us to know, just as, remember I once made a video where I said that I went into a shop with friends and the presence of the Lord and the tangible presence of the Lord came in and I explained that the tangible presence of the Lord means we could tell whether the Lord was alone or whether he came with angels. It means, tangible presence means I could tell whether the Lord was walking on my left or on my right. Okay, and, and I could tell whether he's there or not. Well, even if he was quiet, I could still know like the Lord is with us. And even when he left, I could tell, okay, the Lord is, not, is no longer with us. I said the Lord, not the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit does not come. The Holy Spirit does not go. I'm talking about the tangible presence of the Lord Jesus, meaning he was there but not in the flesh. But he was so real, you could almost touch him because he occupied space even as we walked in the shop. In the shops, he had said that a lot of the food was not good for eating. And he said that um, a time will come when there will be more fake foods than real food. That very same Jesus, that very same Lord, he's the very same Lord that was telling me again and again that I should know that a lot of churches are not of the Lord. A lot of churches are not of the Lord. They are holding the Bible. They are preaching the, they are preaching the word. They're taking up offerings. It's like the same. It's like the same old practices. But they are not of the Lord. They are not of the Lord. Some of these churches, they never, the Lord was never in them from the very beginning. Some of these churches were of the Lord, but the pastors turned away. Um, they, for, for whatever reason, they fell away. And some of the reasons is also the love of money. The love of money. Hallelujah. So, I do not, like, I, I'll just quickly run through different dreams. 
there is a particular dream where I went into the church. I was just new. They hardly knew me, and already I was given a position in the church. Some of the members in the church did not approve of this. I, I understand. Like these people did not even take time to, to, to know me, to look at the fruits of the Spirit, to pray concerning me. They didn't do that. I was already offered, uh, 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 like I already, I, I just came in, I'm already, I, I have, I, I'm ranking. Okay. So now I remember the, the, the church was in one part of the yard and the other part of the yard was like a house. It was a house, but the house had been turned into offices. The different rooms of the house were now offices. So the pastor's wife held my hand and she took me to different rooms as if she was looking for something. She was holding my hand. And at some point in the dream, she was rubbing my stomach and I was not comfortable. And as I was about to move away, she moved her hand. And also there was a time when I saw her mixing some, some things like some sort of concoction. But I just knew that that was, that was a concoction and it was made for me. And it's like she had seen some, there, there are things in me that she wanted for herself. Okay. And so I just decided like, I, I, I do not, I do not even want to be here. And this would also explain to the people who operate in the prophetic, why you are never, why you struggle in being able to find a church and being able to fit in a church. You can be in a church that is of the Lord, but you realize that you like, you, you are, you know, you know, you know, it's, it's dangerous when to be spiritually weak. When someone sits next to you and they can just tell that you're just like you, you are spiritually weak. How then do you teach? How then do you teach them? It is them who will be playing the role of opening your eyes, of, 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 of um, encamping around you. Like it should be the other way or they should be, you should be working um, hand in hand with them. Okay. But then here I am, I see myself. Um, it, with this woman and I decided to run and there was already a meeting going on so I ran quickly to the meeting and that's where I stood there at the meeting okay and then um, in that meeting again there was some altercation with some women and that was showing me the kind of people that have been put to hold um, positions in church like this this person was suffering from envy like this person was suffering from anger problems like this lady has got had so many spirits that were behind her and also there was a celebrity that I saw in this dream. This was a man that used to be successful, but he had lost his fame, but he was still in the church. And I remember he came, he came in to drop something, he was just wearing a white shirt, very simply dressed in a, in a, in a humble way. Okay. So, and then they said, come join us at the table. And the way it was asked, I could tell that they always asked him to join them and the man refused. And then he said, no, it's okay. I'm just fine working at the back. And I looked at him. It was then in my spirit that um, I asked, like, why is this man here? Like, this is a celebrity that has gone broke. I'm like, did he lose his, did he lose his wealth when he came to the church? Did he lose his fame when he got to the church? But not to the point where, like, he's got nothing. In my, in my mind, in the dream, I'm like, did the church take his um did they take his financial blessing from him and you know that the church doesn't do that that's a cult a lot of these churches are actually cults and the lord is saying that a lot of churches are not of him a lot of churches are not of him okay and the thing is you have to understand that you're not just called to a church you just call to particular churches not everyone is called to pastor everybody okay not everyone is is, is called to pastor everybody some people will come to your church, but they do not belong there. They're just there for a while and they need to pass. And there are people who are meant to be with you long for the long for the long haul. Okay. And still nothing is, is forever, really. Um, that's why we remain flexible to the leading and guiding of the Holy Spirit. And uh, the Lord also showed me another pastor whom I saw in my dreams and he hit himself. On the second time when I saw him in the dreams, he hit himself. But I think he already saw that. I already saw him. Now, what was weird with this pastor is that the Lord um, revealed to me that this man was sucking the energy. He, he used to love to be around children, but he was sucking the energy of the children. 
So in these dreams, I've learned that a lot of the 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 these pastors, there's a lot of witchcrafty news. There's a lot of spells, concoctions like the. There's a whole lot of things that are going on there. Like it is much deeper than we think. It is much deeper than we think. Look, I did not say like all churches do not belong to the Lord. I promise you, there are many churches belong to the, that belong to the Lord. But if you want to look at overall, nationally, that's when you realize that a lot of the churches do not belong to the Lord. Okay? There are churches operating under the spirit of Jezebel where the, the pastor's wife runs everything. Now, a woman that's not even submissive to her husband, she runs the show. What are we to learn? What are we to learn from her? You know, already there's a wrong spirit behind her. Okay? Um. So, like, like, I did not even want to make this video. I'm thinking to myself, like, wait, how do I even start to, to present this? Like, I've had so many dreams. And um, another another case that I've had that I've seen in dreams is also the case of lust, where you see the pastors, the small pastors of the church, um, operating in lust. Then you know that this must be something from the top that's wrong. Okay, we can't have more than one pastor who's misbehaving, and sometimes it's hard to pick up. I once was in a church which I was thinking of join of joining. That was like before COVID. That was like years before COVID, I went into this church and the pastor complimented my perfume. I mean, it's just complimenting my perfume, no big deal. But that was just the beginning of the signs. And then I realized, like, there was just little things that were starting to pick up. But when I left the church, it was then that I started to hear stories and I was surprised, like, like, I was right. Like, what I was thinking, sometimes things can happen. You're like, no, girl, you're overthinking things. No, you're overthinking things. And then you realize that, no, but this, 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 this that's just how they are. Okay, they, they, they build the friendship, they build the trust. Then they become flirtatious and they try to move on to other things, okay? And, like, I was just surprised. Like, a lot of these churches, like, if it's not the spirit of Jezebel that's operating in there, and you'll find that the, the husband is actually a good man. He's just sweet. But has lost his authority as a man, okay, in the church because the woman is running the show. And I've been to churches that I couldn't really um, be a part of because then the Lord will show that this woman is into witchcraft or the husband is lustful. The, the husband has got no problem sleeping with the members of the church. Like the Lord has revealed so much. The Lord has revealed so much to me. And I just do not understand. Like I wish there would be more videos like this where the prophetic voice can say a lot of the churches are not of God. A lot of the churches are not of God. Um, I once dreamt of a church. Um, I, I know this church, okay? But then one day I went to bed and it was, I was, there was a family function that was happening and it was in the evening and I found myself in a situation and I needed to go to church to ask for help. So I quickly, I drove, I rushed to the church. As soon as I got to the church, the, the 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 church inside is like the church looked different like the the bottom of the church had opened to some sort of an underground arena and there was chairs there i actually ended up going to sit there on one of the red velvet chairs and that's when i realized that like this is not of god this is not a church of god and i kept i said there thinking of how to get out of it but as i said there struggling to come out it, it the lord made me aware that i was in a dream and I remember thinking, even if I told people, no one will believe that this is not of God. Because some churches start under God, but then after some things, oh, they, they just take over. I do not know what happens. Like, I do not know what is happening. I do not know what is happening. But the Lord was just showing me, like, I, I am in South Africa. Like, the Lord was saying, a lot of the churches are not of God, are not of God. And I know I'm a getter. A bashing for this i don't know i don't even know if i'm even going to post this or if i'm going to um, remake the video and try not to be scared it the thing is that the the dreams are different but they're all painting the same is the spirit of jezebel is the love of money um it's lust you know i just and and then there's this just uh calls this is just occultic and occultic churches just from from the the very foundations they're just occultic. 
and the Lord is no longer there. The Lord is no longer there. And for someone else who might be wondering, like, look, I'm not even going to be saying, to the only reason I'll ever come and say church is if the Lord said I should come and call out the church by name. Otherwise, I will not, okay? Otherwise, I will not. But the people that attend the churches, they are really of the Lord, which is why as people, we need to uh, keep on building our relationship with the Lord and quickly be able to pick up a Jezebel spirit, quickly be able to pick up a controlling pastor, you know, a narcissistic, a, a, a narcissistic leader who just seeks to control. They seek to control, okay? Um, and before you know it, there's a demanding of money, demanding of resources, okay? There's a lot that the Lord has showed me. There is just so much. I just pray even now that the Lord may raise more prophetic voices to speak and let the people know that you're probably sitting at home and be pointing at churches like Prophet Bushiri's church, saying they are false, not knowing that the very church where you're going, is it, it, it might not even be of God. Since you've been in that church, what kind of dreams are you getting? What kinds of dreams are you getting? And if you ever ask the Lord, Lord, the church where I'm attending, is it of you or has your spirit left? I once shared a dream where I said, the Lord said to me, it was a funeral. I was at a funeral. A pastor was speaking. And like in that dream, I said that God has order. When God speaks, he doesn't speak when someone else is speaking. But he literally waits, even if he's a child that's speaking. But on that day, the Lord was angry that the Lord literally spoke over the pastor. Like even I was in shock. Like the Lord is not happy. The Lord spoke about how pastors do not care about the widows. The Lord feels that the money is not spent well. The Lord feels that money should go to the widows. Money, like more resources, more things can be done for the poor. More can, But the Lord was specific on the widows and on the orphans. Like it, it, was, it was in the heart of the Lord. The poor, the orphans, the widows. And the Lord said to me, they do not care about them. Like, they, 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 like there is no place for them in the church. There's absolutely no place for them. And those who try to do a little here and a little there, it's just something that is just done once in a while. But the Lord feels like more should be done. More should be done. Okay? Now, I'm not even going to blame... Um, uh, you know what? Let me stop defending anybody. The church of the Lord must be run the way the Lord wants. There's the Holy Spirit. He speaks. Anyone who hears from the Lord will tell you. That the Lord speaks. I used to think that God is a man of few words. I used to think God is a God, I beg your pardon, is a God of few words. Oh no, oh no ma'am, no sir, the Lord speaks. The Lord speaks so much that I do not even remember all the things that he says. But like I said, I always just tell myself what I remember is enough to go with. Okay, the Lord, the Lord, the Lord is very detailed. And I think we know this from the, from the story of Noah. How the Lord gave him the accurate measurements and everything. And the Lord is very strategic. And the Lord is not as um, as private or close off as we think. He just wants us to get closer to him. When you get closer to him is when that is when is then that he begins to reveal things. And what I like about God, he doesn't wait for you to ask. He'll just reveal a person's heart to you, reveal a person's mind to you. Okay. So yeah, this is what I, I wanted to share. So I may have stepped on many toes, but this message is to the saints and to the pastors that are of God. I am called into ministry myself. So if the Lord has called me into ministry, you must know that I have respect for the people who have been in ministry longer. And I want you to know that I know that there are good people who are really called by the Lord. Okay. There's many people whom I've met, whom my, whom my spirit is clear, you know. Home after meeting, I never had a dream or a message or anything from the Lord against them. Okay, so I do know that there's true Christians and there's true, there's true, um, just as there are true Christians and false Christians, there'll always be true pastors and false pastors. And for those who have fell along the way, let us repent for the judgment of the Lord has already come. For the judgment has already come and truly it, it has begun in the house of the Lord. To this day, the Lord is cleaning house. The Lord is cleaning house. It's not just cleaning churches, even personal homes of Christians. Like the Lord is busy. It's not even funny. Okay? It's not even funny. 
and some may be praying hard now and fasting concerning the the divorces that are happening thinking it's the works of the enemy but the lord is destroying what the enemy has built okay there are some unions that should not have happened and the lord is is allowing the cracks that were always there to be to just uh, to be open like what the lord has long closed off the lord has released it's like the lord was holding everything together but now the lord is just letting everything go so now we are able to see like it it you just wonder like was it even god's will okay was it even god's will and for those whose marriages was just under attack and the marriages are of god those people must just keep standing and the lord will restore the marriages the lord will definitely restore the marriages and the Lord is doing a very special work concerning that, even at this very moment. Um, yeah, guys, this is what I wanted to say. Like I said, I do not know if I'll be posting this video. Because the thing is, I do not want it to seem like I'm against churches. As it is, I do not even have a church where I go to. Okay? But I have seen myself in a church, but the Lord did not allow me to see the outside of the church so i do not know which church it is that um, i saw myself in but i was at peace in that church but i still have not yet found it and just because like i said like if i come to a church and i don't stay does not mean that that church is not of god if the lord does not want me there i won't be there and another thing i operate in the prophetic if i come there and i realize that there's there's the the, the warlocks like you have to care like the people are going to be on your back the warlocks of the church it matters to you it matters to you about the warlocks because they're going to be on your case you come into a church you want to know is there far fourth ministry are there prophets there or are you coming to a church where you're going to be facing the battles where the battles is going to be so rough that you yourself are going to walk yourself out of the church because of the things that you see and these people know that you see and they do not want you to see them and they're going to try to make sure that you leave the church and they do not really want to battle you. They just want you to just get out of their hair. Okay? And some don't understand what are you doing there. Like it's their territory. You know? And you didn't even pray about that church. You just went there. There was a time when I prayed and I said, Lord, I would like to go and visit this church. Must I go visit the church? I went to bed. I had a nightmare. I had a terrible nightmare. And so, no, I never went to the church. And what do you know? I think it was three years Three years later, that's when I was told that um, there was uh, the, the the prophetic people in the church where where um, one prophetic lady was saying um, she she had heard some of the prophets saying like like they no longer get dreams like they used to or there's been a change of dreams and, and and stuff like that and she said she's been dreaming funny dreams and she loved the church after leaving the church then she started to see. To dream the pastor and the wife as something else and started to see the church as not as a church but as some sort of a of a cult as a some sort of a thing where orgies and things of the sort happen so this is real this is real like i said i may post it i might not i might not post it okay but i just wanted you to know if i do get it out i may sound all over the place but this is the heart of the Lord. The Lord is saying, my sheep awaken from your sleep. Who bewitched you? You no longer think. You no longer reason. When you see something, you want to brush it under the rug. You know what the word says. And you doubt your knowledge. You doubt your, you doubt your own intuition. You, you, your, your, your discernment has become blunt. Like you, you, you fight yourself now. You don't know if it's the Holy Spirit or it's you talking. Yeah. Yeah. So guys, thank you for spending time with me. God bless. Love you.